Hello everyone. Welcome to Special Yoga with me, Clemmy. I hope you're all having a really good week and you're getting excited for Christmas, which is really, really soon. <laughs> okay, we're going to do some dynamic yoga today, which means we'll be lying on our backs and doing lots of stretches and some balancing. So make sure that you've got quite a bit of space around you to do this yoga session. You might have a mat or a blanket, just whatever you need to make yourselves comfortable. Okay, so we're actually going to start this session lying on our backs today. So I want you all to find your way down to lying on your backs with your feet flat on the floor. Just like this. Okay. And from here, you're going to give yourself a big hug. Hug your knees in, squeeze them in towards your chest, hug everything in really tight, and then just gently rock from side to side. Gently rock from side to side, massaging your lower back. You might want to make little circles with your knees. That's a nice way of massaging your back. Circling your knees around and massaging your back. Nice and gently. And then hug those knees in tight again. And this time lift your head up off the mat and bring your nose up so it just finds its way between your knees. Tuck your nose between your knees. And inhale and exhale. And relax down. Walk again from side to side, gently massaging your lower back. And then once again, Lift your head up off the mat, tuck your nose between your knees. And relax down. Now we're going to hold on to one knee only. So I've got hold of my right knee with both my hands. And I'm going to stretch my left leg all the way out but it's floating in the air. It's not resting on the ground. It's up floating in the air. So one knee is tucked right in towards my chest. The other leg is stretched out. Hold that stretch for a couple of breaths. And then we're going to swap over. So I'm holding onto my left knee and I'm stretching my right leg all the way down the mat. And my foot is just floating off the floor. Holding this stretch. And then bring both knees back together and hug them in. Good. Now we're going to take a full body stretch. So stretch your arms above your head. And stretch your legs. Oh, it always makes me yawn when I do this. A little bit like when you're waking up first thing in the morning. <laughs> Stretching your hands up above your head and stretching your legs all the way down the mat. And see how tall you can make your body. Really stretching. Right up to your fingertips and right down to your toes. Big stretch. And then hug your knees back in. Ah, lovely.
This time, we're going to stretch our arms and legs, but we're going to stretch them up towards the ceiling. So we end up in this sort of upside down table shape. So toes and fingers are pointing up towards the ceiling. And your back is flat on the floor. Good. Hold it there, stretching, stretching, stretching. Keep your head rested down on the mat. Just your hands and your feet are stretched up towards the ceiling. And then hug everything back in again. And then just roll over onto your side and use your hands to push yourself up to sitting. We're going to sit with our legs pointed straight out in front of us like this. And your toes are pointing straight up towards the ceiling. It's important to keep your toes pointing up towards the ceiling all the time because this actually protects your knees. When we, when we fold forwards, it's important that our feet remain in this position because it protects your knees. Okay, we don't want to hurt our knees. All right, so legs are straight. Feet are pointing up towards the ceiling. Next thing we're going to do is take a big breath in and sweep our hands up towards the ceiling. And then as we breathe out, we're going to fold ourselves over our legs towards our feet. Your hands will come somewhere on your legs or you might even hold on to your toes. And then once you've found your legs or your feet, hold on and just relax your head down. Take some nice deep breaths once you're folded forwards. Opening up space in your back to breathe deeply. Keep your head and neck relaxed. More breaths. Staying folded forwards for a few more breaths. And inhale up. Good. Big stretch. And exhale down. Head and neck relax. Keep those feet flexed and pointing to the ceiling. Shoulders relax. Um, no. Last time, keep your arms up towards the ceiling, big stretch and fold forwards. Breathing deeply, inhale, exhale. Relax shoulders, neck, head, strong legs. Good. And come back up to sitting. Great. Just give your legs a little gentle tap. Wake them up. 
on the sides, the insides, on the fronts. And then what I want you to do is bring the soles of your feet together. So you're pressing your feet together. Then get your thumbs and pop your thumbs inside the gap between your feet and just give them a little rub. Give them a little rub. At this time of year, our feet can get a little bit stiff and sore because it's cold and we're wearing heavy boots and shoes all day. So it's really important to just look after your feet a little bit more in this winter months. I like giving my feet a rub whenever I get the chance. So let's just all do that for a few minutes. Use your thumbs, your toes, the arch of your foot and the heel. Good. Yeah. Okay. Once we've shown our feet a little bit of love, you can press them back together again and use your hands to hold on like this to your toes. So you're holding onto your toes and pressing your feet together. And from here, I just want you to bounce your knees. Just gently bounce your knees like butterfly wings. Bouncing your knees, warming up your hips. Keep going. Bouncing your knees. Ever so gently. A few more times. Okay. And then bring your knees to stillness and keep holding on to your toes with your hands. And I want you to gently bring yourself forwards while holding on to your toes and keep your knees pressed down as if you're trying to press them down towards the mat and you're pulling yourself forwards. And when you do this, you'll feel a strong stretch into your hip flexors, which are here. Coming forwards. Don't forget to breathe deeply in these big stretches. And relax back. And then again, come forwards. And relax back. Good. Bounce your knees a few more times. Just release them off. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to come onto our hands and our knees. So roll yourself over. And let's all meet in this position, like a tabletop. So the thing to remember is your wrists need to be directly below your shoulders and your knees need to be directly below your hips. So just take a look and make sure before we start that everything is nicely lined up. We then need to make sure that our backs are flat like a table. Just check that everything's nicely lined up. And then from here, we're going to do our cat cow movement. So this is the one where we drop our tummies down towards the mat. And look up at the ceiling. And then we do the opposite. Lift our backs up towards the ceiling and tuck our heads in towards our tummy. 
So it's these two movements. Take a look and then have a go for yourselves. What you're wanting to do is just go really slowly. Really take your time to find these two stretches. I'm going. Just a few more. Very good. Okay. And then just come down into a child's pose briefly, just to relax yourself for a moment. So you need to open up your knees a little bit more. Rest your forehead down on the mat. And keep your arms stretched out in front of you. Child's pose. And really light. Come back up into your tabletop position. And what we're going to do now is stretch out. So you're going to start by stretching out your left hand straight out in front of you. Left hand out in front of you. You really need to focus on your balancing to do this. And then bring that left, that right hand down. Sorry, I got my left and right muddled up there. And then the other hand stretches out. Whichever one you didn't do first, stretch that hand out. You want it to be up in line with your ear. And then again, back to your other hand. And final hand. Balancing. And back down. And now it's the turn of our legs. So, press your hands firmly into the mat, and then you're going to lift up your left leg and stretch it out behind you. Make sure it's up horizontal from the floor. Strong, strong leg. Hold it up. If you're getting tired, you can bring it down. Try and hold it up for a few more breaths. And bring that leg down to join the other one. And the opposite leg, stretch it out.
down. And then the left leg again. Final leg, right leg stretching out. And back down. Now we're going to all come into a lovely relaxed child's pose. So bring your legs wide. I'll show you this way. Bring your legs wide and bring yourself down between your knees. Rest your forehead down and bring your arms back towards your feet. And then just completely relax. Drop into this posture. Let everything go. Nice deep breath. lovely session very relaxing bring yourself into a cross-legged position like this hands on your knees and then stretch your hands out wide come up 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 to the ceiling look up at your thumbs and bring your hands down towards your heart center. Let's do our poem. I am love. I am light. I am joy. And I am peace. There is a beautiful light inside my heart that was given to me when I was born. And because of that light, I'm not afraid of anyone or anything. Om Shanti. Om Shanti means peace everywhere. That's what I'm wishing you, peace everywhere. And have a wonderful week and have a lovely weekend and I'll catch up with you all again soon. Okay, take care till then. Bye.